That is Arcadia with Election Day. We're pleased to have in the studio with us today Kate Bush, right? Kate is in this MTV studios for the very first time. As a matter of fact, how many times have you visited America? This is the third time. Just the third time? Yes. All right, well, as long as we have you here, this very talented lady, we're going to speak with her. We have an awful lot of questions to ask you. We'll take care of that right after this word from Twix. Country. With us in the studio tonight for the very first time ever is Kate Bush. Now, you may not be aware of this, but she was, the f was first discovered at the age of 16 by Pink Floyd's guitarist David Gilmour. And he was so impressed by her that he helped finance her first demos. She then went on to record her first album at the age of 18 called The Kick Inside. And since then, she's achieved the status of superstar in Europe and Canada while remaining relatively unknown here in the United States. Until now, that is. Her most recent album has spawned a top 40 hit, Running Up That Hill, as you know, and she's here tonight with her brand new video. One of the things, Kate, we wanted to find out from you is Hounds of Love is your fifth album. What do you think it is about this particular album that has really taken off here in the United States? It's very hard for me to analyze it as an artist. Um, I think actually the last album received a great deal of positive reaction from people here, perhaps more so here than in my own country in Europe, where the, it was received in quite a controversial way. And I think people here were very interested in what we were trying to say on that album. So perhaps that built a kind of foundation of interest for this one. And I think also this album is being very positively backed up by promotion from the record company, which makes an incredible difference. One of the strange things when Americans visit Europe and you see other stars that are really huge over there, very much like Brian Ferry and Roxy Music, big act over in Europe and like yourself, was it ever frustrating for you to be so big and you actually is a star in the Europe and not here? No, I don't think it's, it's frustrating. I don't feel that I, I have to conquer territories as such, but it's always really exciting for me when people do be, become interested in my music and it's great for me to be here. I'm, I'm so happy that people are are becoming interested in what I'm doing. Now, the word we have is that you don't like to tour. And I was wondering if you ever get any grief from your record company about that. It's not true that I don't like to tour. We've only done one tour, and I really enjoyed it very much, but that was back in 79. And it's the amount of commitment that it takes, because what we did was um, put on a visual show so that uh, it would be interesting, hopefully, for people to come and see. Mm -hmm. And I just haven't really been prepared for that kind of commitment since then. Uh, it took me to the last album to get enough new material to do a new show, and I just don't think um, I've been ready for that kind of amount of effort yet. <laughs> We've brought in your new video tonight, Cloud Busting. We've been talking an awful lot about it, you know, recently here on MTV. Would you, is there anything you want to say to set it up for us before we go right into it? Well, we spent a lot of work on this. We wanted to treat it as a short piece of film, and it very much tells a story, so I, I just hope people enjoy it with Donald Sutherland in it. We'll talk about that too right after this. This is Cloud Busting, Kate Bush's latest. How did Donald Sutherland become involved in this video, Kate? As I said earlier, we wanted to treat it as a short piece of film. And uh, I, I really wanted to get a great actor for it so that people would understand it was being approached in that way, as well as also having someone that would make the thing more interesting, more dynamic. He was our first choice. We couldn't think of anyone better, and we thought the chances of him doing it were really unlikely, but that it was worth a try. So we got in touch with him and sent him the script and a cassette of the song. And I think he was interested enough in the story and just happened to have those days free when we were shooting to be able to be in it. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. Uh, actually, the story must have been very strong. So, I mean, I, whoever wrote it for you, did you write it yourself? Well, the song is inspired by a book, uh, and so it was that story that we were telling. Is that fairly a literal interpretation of it in the video, do you think? I don't know. I wouldn't like to, to dare to presume that, but I think we tried to do definitely the emotive side of it justice. Mm -hmm. Your past videos have always kind of featured uh, wild choreography. This one, of course, there's none in it. Why did you make a change at this point? I think uh, my early videos are very much influenced by dance and theatre. Um, and I think that I'm now tending towards a filmic uh, attitude. I, I like the whole way that films are put together, the expression of them. And um, I think that's the way that I'm moving now. And speaking of that, now, if you're going into films, do you think you might yourself? and get involved in acting? 
I really don't know. Um, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed acting in this video because in a way it's the first time I've acted as such. I've done a lot of different kinds of performing but um, this was really acting and uh, it was a lot of fun, fascinating. <laughs> you getting any scripts coming your way? Um, there have been a few coming in on and off over the years but uh, either I don't have enough time or they're just not, they're just not quite right. You know, critics, I think, over the years have tried to attach labels to all sorts of music, and, and it's really not easy to do with your material. Is that a conscious effort on your, on your behalf, to kind of like stay away from being labeled or categorized? I, I think I'm always trying to escape labels and never succeed. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Labels are necessary, really, for people to define things. So I think you just have to try and accept them. Now, very quickly. Immediate plans. Tell me about your immediate plans for the future. Well, um, we're leaving here to go to Canada for a couple of days and then back home and I'm promoting the album really until Christmas. And then early next year we'll be making the next videos to go with the next singles. So um, it's going to take me to late spring, I think, or already just promoting this mm. album. <laughs> During that time, give some thought to touring, Kate. I'd love to see you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming back. My we'll pleasure. see you when you do tour. All right. The night is still young, so says Billy Joel. This is his latest video, and you can check it out within 20 minutes. It was nice having Kate Bush with us.